We have two brand new embossing folders from Hot Off the Press, and wait till you see them. But better than that, we've got lots of ideas. <laughs> lots of ideas. <laughs> We're going to be using aluminum foil, tissue paper, specialty papers. Well, you just have to watch and see. You just have to watch and see. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here they are. We have the woven lattice. This is a, what I would consider a background embossing folder. Right. And then we have the um, swirl frame, which I would consider a frame. Does that sound a, reasonable a frame to you? That's great for creating a focal. Now, th because they're hot off the press, the design is silk screened on top. That just makes it easy when you get more than four of these and you're trying <laughs> to see what design is what. Plus, that tells you which side is the embossed side when you put your cardstock in it. It does. The embossed side is the non-silk screen side. The raised side is the non-silk screen. Right. The other thing about these is because they're from Hot Off the Press, you are going to get an idea with them. And we're going to show you more ideas too. Right. And for those of you who belong to the Premier Embossing Folder Personal Shopper Kit that's every other month, um, these you received in March. So don't tell your friends. Uh, we'll just show <laughs> some of those techniques that we're sharing in that newsletter. We're going to start with this one, and this is the, the swirl, swirl frame. frame. Yes, just a beautiful. It is beautiful. It is. And here is, um, I would say, a simple way to use it, but the end result is anything but simple. It's just lovely. Right. And this is done on white and on um, ivory cardstock. So two of them, because this center area is a separate piece. And you're going to show I'm how this was show done? You. So I have two pieces of cardstock for, for this piece, for the center. Excuse me. It was actually, uh, we've used the ivory cardstock and embossed it. And for the background, we used white cardstock and embossed it in a standard uh, die cutting machine. Right. So that was sandwiched in that embossing folder and embossed. And for this piece, uh, Susan actually cut it out. And I kind of found, you know, if I put a little extra cardstock underneath, it, it starts to sort of punch it out for you along those lines. Oh, you lines. mean you put extra cardstock when you ran yeah, it through the machine? Yeah, and it kind of, it really oh. impressed along those edges. Huh. You still have to cut it out, but it, it gives you a good start. And okay. if you would, you know, if you want to keep the outer piece, you could, of course, um, use a, an X-Acto knife and cut out around there. But for me, I'm going to have to get in here <laughs> and get around there. Somebody out there just went, ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, do make another one. You've got cardstock. Yeah. <laughs> so just trim around that. So just that. trim around this piece and this and then once it was trimmed out, trimmed around there, she took uh the ink pad and she went ahead and uh inked the edges. Okay. Now, the same ink pad that I'm about to use for this piece. So when you've got this piece, I'm going to go ahead and put down uh, a craft sheet so that I don't get ink everywhere. Here, we'll turn that over. Okay. Somebody failed to clean that off. Oh, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was this side that I didn't want to. Okay. So I've got gold metallic stays on, and this comes with a liquid uh, bottle of the metallic ink. Right, a re-inker. So, right. A re-inker. So you start by getting that um, inked very well so that you've got your ink in place. I'm using this um, Colorbox uh, stylus ink pad, and it's got these removable pieces on the end. These are great. And so you just go ahead and ink in. Let's see, make sure you've got something on there, which that was easy to do. And then you just start going over the edges, over the raised embossed image. And if you use kind of a light touch, you might want to get a little closer there. If you use a light touch, you're going to stay on top of the image and try not to get down in between much. If you do, it still looks, it looks vintage-y. It's really pretty, but it just sits on top there like that. Isn't that beautiful? It's an absolutely beautiful look and so easy right. to accomplish. It just, just like your, it, right. Yeah. It just pops it right up. <laughs> now, I'd be done in about a minute with that. Right. And move on. And then, as you said, that second layer is simply foam taped on top. We've added some dazzles and some of the petaloo flowers, and it is done. And actually, the other thing that was added was the thin line dazzle. So, so simple. Now, on the inside, another piece of that center area was embossed and then uh, 
cut out and inked, right. just like you see. So well, on the ivory, so it contrasts just right. a little bit. I love that the large dazzles right across the center. It's just beautiful. Now, scrapbookers, I want you to know that these embossing folders are for you too. Now, just like on this one, we used it to take our message. Well, look what you can do on a scrapbook page. You can use that center area to hold your journaling right. and to cut out a piece of paper that is going to match that and just do your computer journaling on right. it. Right, and then foam tape right on top of another piece. This one was embossed, and then uh, Susan used a uh, sanding block, and so here it was done on pattern paper from this the new Mirage right. paper pack, which is just beautiful. And then you just run your sandpaper, your sanding block right across the top, and because the paper has a white core, it's going to reveal that white and on it, top of there really quickly. I was going to say it doesn't. It's kind of like the inking yeah. that you just did. It yeah. just takes a moment. It's done. And in this case, this was cut out around the decorative edge, but how beautiful. Now, okay, just use your imagination and think about a photograph under there. Oh, sure. Or turning it sideways and popping it over a photo. Right, or using just half of it and having journaling sticking ah, out the edge of a photo. Just that's, beautiful. Yes, yeah, so that scrapbook page was just made ever so more lovely with the use <laughs> of that embossing folder. Now, this one is uh, just showing this embossing folder as a frame around one of the stamped images. This happens to be from the uh, paper dolls. Right, the new stamp set. And this here, it, this was just inked over with one of those styluses and a fluid chalk ink, just lightly on the raised images so you have this nice subtle background. And this is a very light blue. I'm afraid our, our lights are kind of flaring it out, but just very light blue around the edge. Right. But again, to think about this as a frame around something that mm -hmm. you really want the attention to be brought to. be to. drawn to, yes. yes. And of course, jewel dazzles can never be harmful in any way, shape, no, or form. And it has sort of natural spots for jewel dazzles, <laughs> little round little circles and mm, dots. And, interesting. Yeah, On the inside, yet again, just using another part of the inside, on the inside of the card, right. so works out very well. <laughs> now we showed you this technique um, on another webisode earlier. This is using toilet paper. Yes, folks, you heard me right, toilet paper. <laughs> that is um, several layers of toilet paper that were spritzed and put through the embossing folder. What I loved about it, the, so the first time I saw this was in the March embossing folders, personal shopper. Right. Immediately I had to share it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how it looks like handmade paper with this torn edge and just the delicacy that oh, it yeah. has. It's beautiful. It looks like it's been inked with a couple of different colors that yes. are in the same shade just to get a little bit of depth with those different colors. I also like the fact that it has been cut off over here. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that we really kind of may not think about. Right. Um, so when you have an embossing folder that has um, maybe an element over here, and if you don't want to use it, you can use the frame part of it. Now on the inside, Side, that little bit that was cut off is also glue because we don't throw anything away. And do just we? the <laughs> end, so that it's an accent piece underneath mm -hmm. this. This is just beautiful, just a very small snippet of that embossed piece. So, this was toilet paper, mm -hmm. which got us to thinking. <laughs> what else can we do this? What on? else can uh, Gail do with this? <laughs> <laughs> More like that, yeah. So, I have the embossing folder here, and I'm going to start out with paper towels. So I kind of experimented a little and I ended up with, if I use two ply paper towels and I have four pieces here that I've cut about the same size as the embossing folder, even if it has a pattern on it, I prefer to use white so that there's no, you know, flowers or brawny right. people on or whatever. <laughs> then I, I, I take those and I'm going to set them inside my embossing folder, but I'm going to spritz them with water so that they will seal to each other when they get run through the machine. Now that's the thing that I thought was so interesting while you're spritzing, okay. is that this had that's a design on it as the toilet paper did also. Right. And um, yet it kind of disappears when you put mm -hmm. it through the um, machine. I'm, I'm not using my craft sheet. It's going to get a little wet. It is going to get wet. Not not too much. <laughs> I'll, I'll deal with it. Oh, come on. We were just, I just tested this and then I turned it sideways. And well, you know, I find is that when you do it like this, you need to have oh, it upright. Okay. Up at an angle. So let All me, right. yeah. There we go. 
I'll let you be the spritzer. I'll be the spritzer. Okay. So I, I actually used four layers. There's another one. Next. Am I to be spritzing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Your next spritz. I am. Okay. <laughs> Here is uh, the last one. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. And since these paper towels are wet, we can't use that to, <laughs> that to wipe up the table. I've got some I'm other gonna stuff. I'm going to fold it over. And while you're doing that, okay. I've got the big shot that I'm just sort of going to okay. pull in here. And for our big shot, we have our two cutting plates. These are well-used cutting plates. They are well-loved, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they still, they work great. And so you always have to open this top layer for the embossing folders so it's not quite as uh, thick there. You lay that down. You place this one on top, and you start working it through. Here, let's get that one. There we go. Um, get that out of the way. And then that. Here's this piece. So when you open that up, Gonna have that embossed design on there. Are you sitting on the edge of your seat? <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! Okay, now that got a little wrinkled in the center. It did. It's you know every every result is just a little bit different. Now I find I can almost flatten it. Now this is still wet, so we're gonna let that dry before we would do anything. But if that bothered you, you know what? You've got a process which is to put that center area on a piece of cardstock and let it sure. be lifted. I do want to, here's one that I did that it, it didn't really pucker. So yeah. that one worked out pretty well. And I'm kind of thinking if you add a little cardstock in there, it presses ah. it together more and you probably have less likelihood that it okay. did that because this one worked great. But look how pretty that works. I mean, it's just lovely. So you can go ahead and do any of your, any inking, of your inking or chalking processes. Right. It has a little bit different effect than cardstock. The ink actually will spread in a little bit more like you saw ah. on the toilet paper. But this this has got a great feel. It, it feels does. like homemade paper. It does. And you could tear the edges off and make a beautiful edge. So one more thing we're going to try. Okay. Yeah. You want to try? No. I want you to <laughs> move on. It's easier when it's wet to tear <laughs> yeah. the edges off. I've got tissue paper. This is going to be a little bit different a little bit more of a sort of a rustic effect and <laughs> a rustic effect yeah huh? yeah okay and rustic's good should I get the spritzer ready get the spritzer ready <laughs> I got my spritzer lady okay so we're gonna do these about every put uh, spritz it between about every two layers and I'm only gonna use four layers of okay. this uh, tissue paper so this is just white tissue paper right and I want to try to keep it flat. That was what I noticed that it's, I'm ah. attempting to keep it flat. And this one has kind of a fold because, you know, tissue paper is always folded. Right. And so, like every. So you just want four, four. layer. Yeah, just four layers. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, good. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it works. It's all, it all dries afterwards. Okay, I'm going to sandwich that in there. Try to keep the. I'll clean up water. This is why you use okay. a craft sheet, people. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with it. It's just water. I know, I know. <laughs> so we have the big shot. I closed it, so now I have to open that top piece. Put one platform. One platform. You know, I really, I wish I had put cardstock in there. I don't have time to. Yeah. I would put cardstock in there to make it just a little bit thicker, but that's all right. Y'all can okay. do that. I'm afraid I don't have a piece sitting here. Y'all can do that at home. Here we go. Okay. Because I can feel that it's not quite as thick. I'm going to uh, run it through one more time. Oh, you just want it a little bit thicker? Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit more uh, pressing on there. Take that out. Move these out of the way. And open sesame. And there you go. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that worked out. See, the it last really time I did, did it, it was a little more wrinkled, but that worked out really nice. You know, it looks almost luminescent. Um, I can see, you can see my fingers through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. It's got a different feel. And once it dries, you can put ink on there. You can use it as is. Yeah, just so, beautiful. And you could stamp on there. That would be really yes, neat. Yes, you could. Put some stamping on the center okay. of it. Okay. Now, we had a couple of others that we've shown in other webisodes, but since this is um, really the debut of these two, this one has been done on the shimmer sheets. Now, these are from our friends at Elizabeth Craft, and we've done webisode on them. Right. 
This one is the blue iris. Right. And we also have, we have several size sheets that are like this. They are in, in metallic or jewel tones. We also have two sample packs, one that's in the jewel tones right. and one that's in the iris. Or this, the iridescent. One of them ir iridescent. Right. And right. then this just happens to be, it comes in large sheets like this. But mm -hmm. this is the embossing folder and then being hit with the stays on. Right. Uh, the black stays so on. So you or just surface. take the, the surfaces or black stays on. You take the pad as is and just swipe it across right. there. Right. And this is Dazzles in the center. And again, more flowers. Kind of like our first one, just using right. a different material. And boy, do you get a different look. Boy, do you. That, and that's <laughs> what's so fun, is that mm -hmm. you can get so many different looks. Speaking of which, uh -huh. again, this is a repeat, but it's so appropriate here. Right. So we saw this last week. We did. In Anne's week of webisodes. And as we get in closer, what Anne did that just surprised the heck out of me was she embossed on a heavily patterned paper. I mean, really. And then went back with the gold stays right. on. I, I have not done that. I've not tried that. And right. it, But you really, she made it stand out enough that you can see it in in some areas you can see the flowers in other right. areas it's just a beautiful look and then on the inside she did it on black with um, the gold and then did the center area as a separate piece and did different techniques with that right and I love that she was able to use this this cutout area as a window so use an exacto knife place that on your card and cut that window out and back it with acetate mm -hmm. and so that's a beautiful look. Now, you did, um, uh, we've done toilet paper, we've done uh, uh, what have tissue we done? paper, uh, and uh, uh, Scott towel, uh, paper towels. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Here are just some other ones. You kind of grabbed everything and went through it, didn't you? I just you? wanted to see what they look like. There are there things that I've used before that look good with an embossing mm -hmm. folder? And the acetate was the a acetate. Thing. I love that. <laughs> and you can ink the top of it, mm -hmm. or you can ink behind it. I think it you too. can even sand it. Ah, ooh, actually, why don't you do that? Can we try it? That would be neat. Do, can you find the sanding okay. block? We'll see. Okay, see if uh, it we'll works. We'll see if I'm right about what I said. <laughs> it is embossed here, so I'll just start right here. This takes a little bit more, more than elbow the paper. grease than the other one, but you can. I think you, you can see it. Start to see it there. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. it nice. Pops up just a little bit. Nice. More. Yeah. Fun. Here it is in vellum. Now this is a dot vellum, but look how gorgeous that I love is. That. It, it looks like that uh, that paper punching or what do you call? Oh, it? the um, pergamano. Yeah, it looks yes. like pergamano when you're done. It. Hey, it does. And <laughs> boy, in one. One hundredth the time. Right. That is gorgeous. That looks like a Valentine for something for your sweetheart. It's beautiful. And this is on the suede paper, and I'm hoping you can see this. You're really going to have to tilt it, uh, I think. To... Yeah, I'm having. It's up. Close, I can see you can it. See yeah, it a little bit more. It is a nice background. You can see those little swirls. And, and again, beautiful. you can ink this. Now, you ready? Okay, let's go into our holographic papers. Now with these, you can really get that pop, but you can also do an ink pad. Oh, you're gonna sand it? Oh, this one gets sanded. Oh, okay, sand it. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Oh. Because they have a silver core. Oh my gosh. So you can see that immediately. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. <laughs> and then you still have the pop, in this case, of the fireworks right. underneath. Mm -hmm. So you could do it with hearts. Mm -hmm. You could do it with circles. And then we're going to move into our second embossing folder. Do you want to sand a little bit of that? Yeah. So and you can see that. Yeah, just so you can see that. It doesn't take much to get that to show up. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. That's just beautiful. And wow, easy, easy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, the woven lattice is our next one. Did you like that little segue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to mention that all of our embossing folders are four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. So they're really a nice substantial size. And while we were playing with all sorts of materials, we failed to mention our good standby, the metallic gold paper. And with this particular embossing folder, 
Um, I think it's nice to think of it in terms of rows. And so here we have just that row going um, right. in two directions. Right. The metallic, uh, the metallic gold specialty paper, here's what it looks like after you emboss it, and you just swipe a stays-on black ink pad over it. Right. And that mm -hmm. is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. But I can Are also, you going to do it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, see, I was going to show oh, you that please one. Please do. So this one, you have gold with black on top of that embossing because of the black stays-on. But then if you use the gold stays-on, you emboss in black, then you just swipe it with the gold stays on, and you get <laughs> it magically a gold appears. Look. You kind of want to. Oh, this is a really juicy one. I sort of got in in between the edges, but it just. Oh, you can really see that wow. that just stands. That's beautiful. So, like you said, gold I with black, on, or black, works. or black <laughs> with gold. So beautiful look. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yay! <laughs> okay, here is aluminum foil. That's right, we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> aluminum foil that has been done through the embossing folder, but also this area. Now, in my mind, this should not work. Right. It absolutely should not work. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that? <laughs> because it's distressed paint mm -hmm. on aluminum foil, right. and distressed paint is acrylic. It's really surprising. And how would an acrylic stick to um, something as shiny as aluminum foil? But you're going to proving the point. Okay, that thank in, you, dear. <laughs> that that in uh, art and in, in uh, card making and paper crafting, you have to think outside the box sometimes. Okay. And so here's foil. <laughs> there are four layers of foil here. They have been folded together. We set that inside of our embossing folder. We put that on our cutting mat. I've got my other cutting mat here on top. My big, big shot here, and then we run that through the machine. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. And can I open, open it? it up? Is that okay? Soon. Wow, isn't that beautiful? It is luscious and rich, and gorgeous. <laughs> I've Excuse us while we move the machine. <laughs> I'm moving so the there you go. What I love about this is that this is just a really universal pattern, and it's um, you'll find it works really well. We talked about the frame being able to hold on to a stamped image. Well, you can take any image and put on top of this, and it will be sure. a really nice sure. background. You can use it just like that. You can cut it in strips like you saw on the bottom mm -hmm. of the card, or you can take this. What I have is mowed lawn distress paint. That should not work. That should not work, but of course, it's going to work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it started here. Is that a new one? <laughs> it, it is. It's, there's a lot on there. I'm just going to paint back and forth. I'm not going to do the whole thing at this moment, but I'm going to show you if you're painting and moving along everywhere, get it all in the areas where you need it to be. Then I've got a, you've got something for me already. Well, okay. I just didn't know if you had something ready. Well, you're I had, fine. I had a paper towel. <laughs> and then you just wipe it off the top so that it, you expose We used to call that antiquing. Oh, sure. So you let the color wipe go off in. The extra. Right. Let's get it up. Are we seeing it? I'm there seeing we go. There we go. So there we go. And you can, you know, what I would do is afterwards, if it dried a little bit, I wonder what it would look like if I, I'm kind of sandpaper happy. You, you are probably, sandpaper happy, aren't you? I wonder you? if you could sandpaper it a little bit and get a little bit more off oh, so you could really see that. Because it's silver. silver all the way through. Well, it's worth trying. It's is not dry enough for me to try it, I think. Okay. Still. It's a beautiful look. So it's staying on. So that's what happened here. And this is going with the geometric papers and a paper tool in the center. So that was my thought that you can do lots of different things right. over, on top of this. Mm -hmm. And then we have the aluminum foil down there with some dazzle saying thank you. <laughs> and on the inside, we just have some of the paper tool. But you could have done another strip of that. So that works well. It looks like the, that tin that you can find in some really old homes. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's on the ceiling. Yes, sure. yes. Mm -hmm. OK, and now we have another technique, which was also part of the embossing folder personal shopper. Now, this is not raised. I don't feel anything as I'm putting my finger over it. And yet, as we get in closer, we can see that it has that same design. Right. So, so how was that done? <laughs> how was that done? Ask. You start with a piece of wax paper and a piece of scrap paper, and you run them together 
through the embossing machine. You put them in the embossing folder, you run them through. Now, you don't need the scrap paper, though it is beautiful. You Maybe you it can use it for pretty. something else. I'm sure you can. You can set that aside. So here's the wax paper that's been embossed. I'm going to take that. I'm going to place it. You're not going to see anything on it now. I'm going to place it between two pieces of cardstock. I think we do need the craft sheet in here for this. Do we still have it? Yeah, um, I, I don't have it on my side. Then. Oh, wait, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, and I'm setting it on top of this to put underneath. Okay, well, well if you think the cardstock's fine. That's I don't fine. know. <laughs> you want me to put the, I'll, I'll put it underneath it. Just sure. want to make sure. So make sure that you're doing this because I'm going to use an iron. I want to yeah. make sure that it's going to be heat proof surface. So, okay, again, I've got the wax paper here between two pieces of cardstock, one of which I'm going to be using for my image later. And then I've got it um, thoroughly protected underneath. I've got an iron set on the cotton setting, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to iron it without steam for about 15 to 20 seconds. So just moving it back and forth. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is melting the wax onto the paper, actually probably onto two pieces of paper. Correct. I mean, technically, point. you could use that back right. piece, too, so you're going to get two opposing images, I guess. Right. So that, I think, is about long enough. Yep. I'm going to remove the top piece. So here's where the wax was. So there should be this wax resist on here, mm -hmm. and we're going to test that theory out. <laughs> By getting I out don't see any, so... Oh, no, no, I can. Can you? Yeah, okay. I can see it on there. It's, it's very faint, but it's there. I've got fluid chalk inks. I have three different colors, which we'll choose from. I have wisteria, sea crystal, and sour apple. And I think I'll start that pretty blue. I've got my stylus pad. I love these. The stylus handle with the little removable ink pads on the, on each end. And by the way, you can wash those ink pads if you want oh, to. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to start at the edge and see what I come up with or where I can find it. It should start revealing the pattern. It should resist against... Can you see it? I do. It's a very faint design. Mm -hmm. And it is faint. So the darker the ink that you use, the more it will oh, show. There it is. Now yeah. I can really see it. See, I've hit on the edge of it. And so three different colors were used, moved mm -hmm. around in different areas. You can see, oh, I'm going to hold it up. I can see it better than it's showing on camera there. There you go. It is showing up. Oh, I'm going to try again. Let's Turn it I... toward you. Hmm. Hmm. I had it there for a you second did. to where you could see it. See if I need to do a shadow. The, the lights are very bright right at this moment. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it. Well, if you look at the card... Here's the card. <laughs> that... <laughs> you can see that it does transfer over. So very, very clever. Okay. And All right. Wait, wait. I have to come back. Okay. I have to be vindicated. I'm doing it darker. There. There. That was the problem. Yes. So you have to do it a little darker if you want it to show up. Now you can full on see it. Right. And it is beautiful. No tricks here. Right. Okay. But still, <laughs> there it is. Now, this was also, um, this dragonfly is a stamp that was done separately and stamped with it's um, the, colored ink. It's the small mm -hmm. dragonfly stamp. It is. Now, our last one is also a repeat, but again, we wanted to bring it in. And this was used on the, um, the shimmer iridescent, sheets. Yeah, the yes. iridescent shimmer sheets. And this happened to be from the sampler pack. Right. And just wanted to point out, again, what a beautiful background it provides. Yeah. And yet it also um, just really supports anything on top. This reminds me of the background, a lattice trellis with these flowers oh, growing up the side. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. And this, I believe, was our March webisode right. um, on the shimmer sheet. So you can see that one to learn about uh, heating right. them and letting we it We showed curl. you just how we did all of yes. that. But the, the look of that on the back is great. And there was just the top of it was hit with a black stays on. Right. So it pops up a little. So whether you love the swirl frame or you love the woven lattice or you love them both, there are tons of techniques. And that's what I think is great. It is great. So get embossing. <laughs>